Good afternoon and welcome to Captain TV Newsroom Live from the nation's capital here in Abuja. I am Victoria Agbi. The news in full. The Independent National Electoral Commission, IDEC, has denied withholding permanent voter cards PVC belonging to a particular ethnic group in the country ahead of the forthcoming election. Reacting to allegations that the Commission was denying Igbos in Lagos states the collection of their PVCs, the Chief Press Secretary to INEC Chairman Rotimi Oyekami yesterday said the Commission did not discriminate against any ethnic stock. Oyekami explained that the Commission initially delivered 914,200 PVCs to Lagos for new registrants' requests for transfers and replacement of cards recovering the period between June 2021 and July 2022. He explained that as of 26 January this year, 839,720 PVCs representing 89.3% have been collected, having that additional PVCs were also delivered to Lagos recently and their owners have been collecting them. Oyekami stated categorically that the Commission's policy was not to print PVCs for double registrants because his or her card would have been printed already and would be among the uncollected PVCs. And in a similar story, the Chairman Independent National Electoral Commission has expressed excitement over the performance of the bimodal voter accreditation system of a joint concluded mock accreditation exercise. The exercise took place in about 436 polling units in the 36 states of the Federation and the Federal Capital Territory with two polling units drawn from six local government areas and two area councils of the EFCT. The INEC boss monitored the exercise in two polling units in Abuja Municipal Area Council and Bwari Area Council, expressing satisfaction with the conduct of the exercise. Addressing journalists after the monitoring of the exercise, INEC boss said what the Commission intended to achieve was to test the integrity of the machines further it would deploy on Election Day. The beef has never failed anywhere, and as you have seen here, the machine actually never failed. I would like to comment on a live matter in court, is subjudice. But in every situation, the commission learns, carries the experience from what has happened towards improving the processes for the next election. Mahmoud Yakubu emphasized that accreditation figures and results would be transmitted simultaneously on election day, stressing that no report of failure was recorded from the Beavers machines. We have identified 436 polling units nationwide on the equality of states of the Federation, on the basis of two local governments per senatorial district and four polling units per local government, making a total of 16 uh, polling units um, uh, per state, on the basis of which we have now deployed the machines. So in the FCT, there are four um, uh, polling units earmarked for the test. This is one of the polling units. The other one is the one we visited at the post office. And so far, so good. Voters have been verified using their PVCs and then authenticated using their fingerprint or facial on the basis of which they will be given the ballot papers on election day after successful accreditation. In the two polling units who have visited so far, there is no report of failure. The machines have performed optimally. And this is the report we are getting so far nationwide. But we have also made contingency arrangement like we will do on election day that there is a spare um, machine in case and in the unlikely event of a malfunction we will be able to respond and fix um, the machines but so far so good no incident no failure and we are hoping and praying having worked very hard that on february the 25th and march the 11th the machines will also perform optimally well, it is worthy to note that the mock accreditation exercise was meant to test the effectiveness of the bimodal voter accreditation system Beavers being deployed for the election nationwide as a replacement for the card readers.